What made. drew you to this movie? Well, when did what, you fall in love with this? Oh, movie? As a kid, mm. I mean, I remember I remember seeing this on TV and just it still holds up too. You have the performance by Betty Davis that is just ridiculous and over the top, and yet it is so truthful and grounded. She's a miserable woman. It just works. All right, Blanche Hudson, Miss Big Fat Movie Star, Miss Rotten Stinking Actress, press a button, ring a bell, and you think the whole damn world comes running, don't you? And then Crawford is uh, underplaying because she knew she had to. She had to really kind of take it under because she knew Davis was. So I don't know what it must have been when Davis showed up with that face, right. that makeup. Joan must have been like, what? <laughs> what is she doing? I mean, she must have just been completely floored. Right, but it's, it shows you that Davis's commitment of not caring how she looked. Joan always cared how she looked. She right? certainly did. But, she, but she, given the characters, right, that, they, that felt right. Yeah. Like Joan wouldn't have looked garish like that. No, she wouldn't have, because she was still, you know, a movie star, even though she was a wheel, in a wheelchair. Well, you know, jo Betty Davis told the story on Johnny Carson, you know, at, towards the end when she, she just said, every day on the set, Joan had a different pair of breasts on. It was like running into the Hollywood Hills. Joan Crawford was totally and utterly impossible. We did not get along. We didn't like each other. But we did Jane, which I was robbed of the Oscar for. And she felt she was robbed of the Oscar for this movie. And she was. Yeah, it's a, it's a really impressive uh, performance. It is a strange, strange, strange movie. And if you don't fully embrace its weirdness, then I think it's off-putting. But if you accept th that you're in this bizarre world, in this decaying Hollywood home with these two former actresses, then, then the movie can resonate. But I also think, as campy as some people think this movie is, and it's been sent up so many times uh, in, in a comedic ways, as, as you just I have did. done it. Right, yes. <laughs> but when I watch it, I don't feel that way. Yeah. I don't feel it's campy. I feel it's very dark and serious and, and, and outrageous. And, then, and, and, and moving at and times. And really yeah. moving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they're just, you know, they're, they're at, the end of their, at, their, at the end of their lives and they probably felt that way making this picture that was they were at kind of the end of their careers.